Day two, Corona lockdown. <laughs> Day two? Is that as far as we made what it? What are we doing? We made it two days. We're like, like yeah. we're like Shackleton's diary, except it's not as exciting traveling across the poles. And I know, just walked across the yard. And unfortunately, it won't be so cold that we'll leave a couple cases of whiskey buried in the ice. No. We'll do none of that. No. We're drinking. That's just quitter talk. Drink it at all. Drink it at all. So what we got here is some tin cup. Do I detect yet another accent coming? Tin cup? <laughs> Why, yes, you do, partner. It's a bold, spice, straight rye from Mountain Whiskey from Colorado. Is that how they talk in Colorado? I have no idea. I've never been to Colorado. I would, I would I'm like to the airport. Once again, cards and letters. G-Lo. <laughs> so we have uh, rye whiskey. We got rye whiskey. Which I'm always scared of. Cause Why? Rye is just too sharp. Is it? I no. like weeded stuff. Oh, it's always good. Rye scares me. But rye makes but a this great isn't, cocktail. This is not the Pennsylvania Rosen rye. No. This is the Mid- Midwestern rye, I suppose. Well, now, here we right. go. So it's made in Colorado. So about a bold and smooth 90-proof rye whiskey made of 95% Midwestern rye and 5% barley. Tin cup rye is distilled and aged for three years, then cut to proof with pure Rocky Mountain water. So Midwestern rye, last time I checked, Colorado is not the Midwest. It is the Wild West. Mm. Northwest? Not Northwest. So just I'm west. guessing the, the rye is sourced from our dear friends at MGP? I suppose it's the old Seagram's plant. Alive and kicking. The old Keeping LDI, going. MGP, yep. Seagram's. I don't want to call it. Where are they? What part of Indiana? Lawrence, Lawrenceburg, Lawrenceville. Mm, something. Somewhere in Indiana. Somewhere in Indiana. And uh, they make a ton of rye for everybody. And they make it to your specification. Yep. So if we wanted to make a rye, we yes. tell them what we wanted. Yes. And the only thing they would do, they yes. either hold it for you uh-huh. in barrels that you sent them or told them to make. We or ship have... it to you and you can save it here. You know what we should do? We should do Angelo Bruno South Philly Rye. <laughs> South Philly Rye. And say that this was the whiskey he made door just before the Mob Wars in 1980. You go through a, a, row, a row house rye? Is that what you want? Rye. Oh, that Rye might Rye be Rye. taken already because there is Rojas Spirits. No, I don't want that. Time. So we'll go with Angelo Bruno Rye. Angelo Bruno Rye? Yeah. Bruno Rye. There you go. Mob Wars Rye. Would it be 100% for extra bitterness? Yes, exactly. He was a nice Sicilian man. So it's 95% Rye, 5% Barley. 90, 95% Rye, 5% they Barley. They make a very interesting shape bottle. I love the bottle. The regular uh, is the tin cup. The blue is more like a bourbon Sort of. I but it, it's, like it's, it's not bourbon, but it's... No, it's like it's a, blended a, it's a, it's a blended whiskey. It is very good. Though. With the blue labels. Yeah, the green labels for the rye. Yes. To differentiate. It has a very nice... Th- it's, the bottle itself is etched with tin cup. Uh-huh. It tells you that it's cut with mountain rye. What, what, is, it a, is it a hexagon? It is... Is six, it an octagon? Six sided. So is that hex? It's a hexagon. It's a hexagon. It's not the ocho. It's it not has the not the ocho. Hello, ocho. It's not the ocho. <laughs> and it, it has a nice label, and they give you... A tin cup. A handy dandy... Tin cup. To drink it with. To drink it with. So now, the, the only cup. thing that I would say they should do differently is when we get something from our fine friends at Blanton's, their, oh, the little, their little toppers yeah. have a little letter on it that spells out Blanton's okay. to make each bottle a collector item. Maybe they should go and put something on here with the letters on it, and you could line them up and spell out tin cup. Oh, okay. Interesting That's price. Bad, yeah. It's a nice little shot glass you get, which I, I guess, guess, you know, in a pinch... Or yep. in a park, yep. drinking out of your paper bag. I like it. You could clean it up a little bit. You know drink what I like? I like they make a they make a three seventy five of the of the regular. Yeah, and I like that because that's, nice size. That's good to put in like the side of your backpack. Yeah, nice travel size. Yep, exactly. It's good for trips, right? Trips with the family. Trips, you know, going to work. <laughs> you know, trips. Going shopping to the trips. store. Your morning commute. I'm going to the library. <laughs> I'm gonna have a little rye on the way home. Okay, I was thinking maybe an actual trip. You're oh. thinking it as pretty much no. a daily event. I'm thinking, I'm thinking medicine to get you through the day. I uh, can't disagree, no. sir. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to the fine folks in Colorado uh, and somewhere in Indiana. That is a very nice. You know, it's interesting. Sharpness. Doesn't the bullet rye nice. also have a green label? Nice. Uh, and and uh, Woodford does the same thing. Do they do a green? So I wonder if that's like an industry standard to go Maybe. on. Just to so say, people this can is our rye. people can tell the difference in the bottles when they're too sloshed to read them, nice. or they didn't bring their cheaters. That so smells good. On this little uh, on this little card they have over here, they give you tell you about the whiskey, tell you when Colorado was established, and then they when mention was this Colorado. Is, was this is a uh, eighteen seventy nine Colorado. Nice. Um, number three charred oak barrels. So I'm going to guess that they probably have the whiskey shipped to them 
and then they age it themselves for three years oh, in sure. their own short barrels that's and then cut it themselves and, instead and. of going and having the whiskey brought to them and then uh, oh you mean like bring it over in big containers and then, yeah instead of it brought over it's probably trucked to them and then they barrel it that's possible that's my guess that's possible but you know maybe they can tell us and uh, Rocky Mountain Water it smells really nice it doesn't have quite the medicinal sharpness of some. No, no, no. It's, it's almost like a little, there's a little bit of like earthy, like yeah. a little herbaly note. It's like a little mint almost. A little sweetness to it. I'm getting a little bit of mintiness. Kind of a rounded note. A little like cinnamon sugar, maybe like on the top of like of a cinnamon sugar donut. You know? Always with the pastries and you don't <laughs> I love have pastries. Them. But you don't have Well, them. we're under lockdown, okay? I'm have sorry. Them. You mention stuff and then I start drooling. It gets into the whiskey, it Is, cuts it. How's the question? Here's the question for you. Is the light on at what's it called? Is the light on over at uh, Krispy Kreme? No, I'll just go to Krispy Kreme. So that's, I'm in for that. That's a good idea. It's a takeout. They got a drive-through window, right? Yeah, but I get a little bit of cinnamon sugar. I get a little bit of like mintiness to it, and you know maybe orange slices. Maybe just a hint of orange slices. Ooh. You know it's funny because I got kind of I was a little deceptive with the nose, so I took a little bit too much. Yeah. And it like ooh. It, uh, it you? Yeah, it kind of flamed up a little bit. It's it's got some heat to it. It's, it's got, got a nice stuff. it's got a nice texture too. Mouth filling, velvety. It's nice. You know what that is? Rocky Mountain Spring Water. Uh, maybe it is. Could be. Oh, it's nice. It's got a real nice texture to it. Yeah, it's, it's not, not overly hot or spicy at forty five percent. No, but it's got a nice tingle. But it's got a good flavor at the back end, and the finish is pretty long. Mm -hmm. A little dry, but pretty long. I don't find it particularly sharp. I'm actually getting a little bit of sweetness. On this one. And I don't know if they vary it. Maybe do they do different yeast strains maybe? Or do they do different varieties of rye? You know, for like... Maybe it's all 95.5? It could have something to do with the rye. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. I think I might like this better, better than, than the bullet. Better than the, uh, some of the other ryes. But maybe, maybe better than the bullet. Maybe better than the, uh, the regular tin cup. But the question is it's a little, why? It's a little more layered than maybe the regular tin cup. It's but the question is why. Well, well the, the regular tin cup's different. That's I think that's just a table whiskey. Like we've we've discussed that. That's such an easy drinking whiskey. But I, I think if I had the choice between the two, you take this. I might go for this, and mm -hmm. I'm not a rye guy. But this is a really good rye. This is very nice. It's I nice, like it. and I think 45 percent is probably the right um, ABV. But they've yeah. watered, they've cut it down to 45. Because I don't need to add anything to this. Yeah, no, and it's not too medicinal. It's mm -hmm. not too astringent. And it doesn't feel really vapory. Just nice. No. I don't know what they're doing. You know, I, I almost wish we had the bullet just to do side by side. But, no, I like that. That's, That's really good. good. That's really good. I would I'd almost give it like an 89 to 91. Yeah. It's a solid B plus, you know? maybe an A, A minus. Yeah. No, no, it's no, good. It's really good. We have to try this in like an old fashioned. Oh, wow. At some point. This could be a really good old fashioned. Mm. It's a nice whiskey. I think the packaging elevates it. Because I think it's got a very distinctive bottle. It's its own thing. And it's distinctive enough yeah. without being a problem for the shelf. Oh. So the shape isn't like the Woodford weird. Right. You know, with that a takes beautiful up. bottle, but it takes right, up too right, much right. space. Like it's or, narrower, but it's wider. Or the Willet. Yes. You know, which oh, the is, Willet, forget it. Which is like an upside down chalice taking yes. up your whole countertop. Well, it's a still. And, but this itself is, it's a, it's, it's a really well, well, really well packaged mm -hmm. and it, it's a really good product it's good i like okay. it I, i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it very much mm -hmm. so thank you to the fine folks at uh tin cop for sending us along actually who sent it what's the name of the pr it was uh backbone media backbone media allison shearer well thank you allison from so. backbone media for sending this along we appreciate it we also appreciate the full-size bottle and guess what we're going to enjoy this for quite a while during lockdown it might not last that it long. might last a week <laughs> so anyhow. we'll see all right. Cheers. Sir. Salute. Cheers.